knew the ways of the land. They knew they were fractals, part of the divine plan. Nature greater than man, we sought to understand the power of our own existence. We worshipped our being, seekers with persistence, with consistency. We followed the flow and countered from resistance. This new age thinking that is emerging and surging through the fields of our spirits is but our souls and our restless ancestors synchronizing us to hear it, to not fear it, the sound of the cosmos, the sacred tone of all physicality, unveiling the apparent absurdity with humanity's formalities, its abnormalities, this new age thinking is old age thinking resurfaced. The ancients spoke of all this, but it has been erased. Their knowledge and wisdom burned, buried, twisted, and replaced, and now we face the fork in the road. We can go with the two-hearted, or we can mold, forget what we're told, buy back our souls that they stole, manipulated, controlled, profited off of, then sold. We can return to the ways of the one-hearted being, non-compliance with evil, finally disagreeing and seeing that freeing your hearts and unplugging it from the system is courageous rebellious, scary, mysterious, unstable, unplugging that cable, unplugging the labels, grasping the parables, deciphering the fables that were told in the past, connecting the dots to see the picture at last. We got lost in the story with the words we created. The vision of the picture got torn and faded, confusion glazed our minds trying desperately to unwind and find the meaning of life. What is our species working towards? It seems to me that our species isn't working towards anything. It seems to me that our species is working away from everything, distracted from the isn't. We diluted all the is. The isn't is the illusion surrounding all that is. The isn't is separating ourselves and feeding the parasite that dwells in your mind, in your brain. Once mankind bit the apple, we were never the same, poisoned with duality. The snake believed we were ready. The contrast of reality proved to be too heavy. Free will is something that can destroy many. The celestial string that was once infinite coiled up in reaction to our self-serving ignorance. Now tethered to the material, we lost our childlike innocence. Nature slowly faded. We were dissuaded, feeding the ego like cancer it invaded, pointing our fingers at the ones who are but ourselves. Cast under a self-destructing spell, wake up out of this deep trance. We create this collective dream. We still have a chance to transform this nightmare of a reality. I call for lucidity. I call for lucidity. Consciousness we must redeem. Stop giving up your power. This is our lucid dream for the one-hearted being shall rise. For the one-hearted being shall rise. Repaving the road, lighting the unknown, turning up the sacred intoning chants that whisper through the ether. Inspiring us to inspire higher, pouring smoke on our fire, the spirits, the smoke of our spirits rising, forming a trail, a smoke trail. Follow that trail and we shall prevail and with peace. Let us hospice the death of the two-hearted system and midwife the rebirth to the one-hearted way to reconnect 
to the umbilical cord of the universe.